and I'm head of luxury at LinkedIn. a great question and I'm, I'm very lucky because I, I do really like my job and I've actually always loved the job that I did as a matter of fact um, and I think what I love about my job it's the, the combination of different elements uh, one is obviously working with the luxury and fashion industry uh, second is working for LinkedIn itself and, and third it's um, the collaboration that I have is a um, such a diverse team of people around the world um, so if I if I explain a little more, like I think I mean to me working with the the fashion and the luxury industry, I, I think it's it's such a privilege, honestly, to work with such creative brands. And 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 for me, I mean I enjoy the excellence of like the products. Um, I find it pretty fascinating when you look at a a show like the the craftsmanship the craftsmanship that's behind like embroideries or like if you. Um, ever visit like a you know watchmaker um, like in the in Switzerland? It, it's it's pretty fascinating the, the traditions of you know how are, like the watches made etc. So I really enjoy the creativity and the excellence of uh, of the industry, um, and and to be able to work with such a, an authentic and to, not traditional but like such an industry and do it with LinkedIn. It's it's Pretty, it's pretty cool because uh, LinkedIn, it's, it's, a, it's more of a tech company. Uh, it's an American company. Uh, but what I love about LinkedIn, it's that the vision that LinkedIn has and that it had when it was created in 2003, it's never changed. It's always like create economic opportunity for every member of the global workforce. And I actually am convinced that we have a role to play in like our today's world. We have like um, you know, more than 770 million members that are connecting uh, to LinkedIn to network, um, to find jobs, to like upskill, to like read content. And, and I really think we have a role to play in like boosting economies and fostering entrepreneurship. So it, it drives me uh, to work for, for such a company. And I guess the combination of both um, makes me believe I have the best job for now. <laughs> I started working with um, the luxury and fashion industry about, oh, I mean, eight to 10 years ago. So obviously there's been a big change. I think what's the most uh, obvious, it's the, the, the major wake up call that occurred like in the past years. Um, I, it's, it's very interesting to see brands uh, commit to like being more sustainable, to tracking diamonds and stone, to creating upcycle collections. And what I find very interesting, it's the, uh, how they've been able to bring creativity and innovation together and how that, you know, um, allowed like new products to be created and stuff like that. On, on a side note, from a more like a media and communication perspective, obviously um, there's been a, a transformation, a transformation that's been boosted, I think, by the pandemic uh, in these past years, but, when I started my career, I guess there was always a, a question like, you know, how can we be digital? How do we remain authentic and or digital? I think today for most brands, uh, the question has been lifted and it, it's pretty clear to, to most brands that digital is necessary and it's still okay to remain who you are um, as a brand. It's, um, it's a great question and, and I think it's always interesting to, to look back and to understand what changed and, and, and what you can do, what you can do better. I mean, as we said earlier, like what happened in the past years, it did boost uh, digital transformation that had started. What I've seen in all these years working, working in that industry is that I, I personally think that luxury brands are very innovative. Uh, sometimes they're perceived that as very, uh, um, you know, like brands that would not change, but I really don't think so. I think they're at the forefront of digital innovation. Like they love to test new formats to connect in a different way with people. Um, so I think what happened, it's more of a, like a continuity uh, to what was happening already. I think what's, what's interesting is that most brands 
uh, they always kept in mind that they have to connect uh, with their audience. They have to, um, the expectations from consumers today have evolved a little bit. Like they want to know more about the brands. They want to know more about the, the brand sense of purpose, the values, et cetera. So they have to, it, it's not just the product. Um, it's what's behind and what's the, what's the, how do you say, what's the inspiration for the product, et cetera. Um, what we've learned is that you have to, in a digital world or in a, in a world that's going through lockdowns and stuff, you have to remain connected. And of course, uh, we've seen like shows, fashion shows going live, uh, which I think is also a very good way to like, um, you know, democratize uh, the access to fashion shows. Obviously nothing will ever replace like uh, a real fashion show because the, the show, it's, it's more than just launching a collection. It's like, uh, the design, the message, the, the music, etc. But I think doing it live, it's it's a good way of um, you know widening the reach. Um, and something else that we've seen and that we've seen a lot on LinkedIn is how brands have been doing a lot of uh, live events. Um, for example, like Dior, they've been doing this like woman speaking series where they interview like uh, great woman leaders in the world in different uh, industries, so from the fashion industry or like. Um, sportswoman, etc. And I think it's a great way uh, for them to connect with their audience, not around the product, but more around the values that drive them and, and to be very authentic. Um, not much, to be honest. Um, I'm a pretty optimistic and positive person, so maybe that helps. But for me, it's very important to work for a company that has a purpose. Um, and I think LinkedIn is really with with its vision that I shared earlier. But more than that, it's it's a very it's it's paving the way in terms of uh, diversity, inclusion, belonging. And I find it very amazing that we have a lot of speakers that are you know coming to LinkedIn to share their vision, to share like to, to give us tips, you know, how to be more inclusive in our to you know everyday's life and in the way we work. And obviously. Um, um, it's it, the leadership is shared between uh, men and women and and we have a lot of groups like women at linkedin out at in etc um so I, I think it's it's very important and and i think what's great is that linkedin it has an impact uh, that's external so it's an impact on the world and on society in general but it's also internal because we have such strong values and commitments that i think we learn how to work in a very different way. And I'm sure all of us who work at LinkedIn, whenever we are gonna change job, like uh, we're gonna be able to, you know, bring some of the learnings that we've had, et cetera. So um, no, I, 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 there's not much I would change. Um, it's a tough question. Um, I think I would, um, I have two daughters. So obviously when I hear that question, I, I guess more than what I would give, I mean, what tip I would give to myself, it's more like what tip I would give to them or I will give to them mm -hmm. um, someday. So I think in general, um, obviously I would tell them to be um, curious and you know ask questions, understand what's going on around them. Uh, be confident and, and of course in terms of work um, I think it's I think it's super important to yeah to ask questions to to, to like talk to people to make sure um, I wouldn't necessarily like try to look for a job in itself but more like what do you like and how do you put together uh, what you like and obviously the skills that you have and then find something that you will do I feel like my generation we were more thinking you know like do you want to be an accountant do you want to be a lawyer do you want to be a stylist do you want to be a photographer mm -hmm. um and i think maybe i would look at it in another way more like how am i going to have an impact uh, in the job that i do uh, what's the type of industry that you know excites me or drives me etc um, and I think to be able to do that, it's, it's important to, to be able to be yourself. And I feel like the younger generations, they will be better at that than, than we were. Um, so that's good. And, and I think it's, it's good to be, you know, confident enough to, to dare asking questions and to be very, very, very open. And obviously I tell them like, it's, 
you know, be proud to be a woman. 